this subsidy will not be for the poor farmer. Out of a 7 billion rupee subsidy, 5 billion rupees are going straight into the pocket of the fertilizer companies. We were promised, we were promised water conservation. And we got not a single scheme on water, Mr. Speaker. On top of that, on top of that, IRSA has completely ignored the rights of the lower riparian and refused to implement the 1991 water accord, which is highly condemnable and objective for us, Mr. Speaker. We were promised, we were promised relief for the poor. Instead, the government has increased gas tariff has increased electricity prices, just is sirf, sirf gharib ki roti mehengi hoti hai, Mr. Speaker, Amir ka mehel nahi, aur hume koi bhi, not ek naya poverty reduction program bhi mila hai hume. We were promised, we were promised concrete steps, concrete steps to address provincial disparity. Instead, we got a 1 billion rupee cut in Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan, nothing for the people of Balochistan, or jab se, jab se, Junubi, Punjab, Mahaz, Wale ko ministry mila hai, tab se hume, tab se, Junubi, Punjab, Suba ka zikri nahi ho raha. What's the delay, Mr. Speaker? What's the delay, Mr. Speaker? Pakistan People's Party ke hukumat ne pura kaam kar diya hai, just take our bill, put your signature on it and get it passed. Not only, not only are you not addressing provincial disparity, we hear you plan to undermine the 18th Amendment. Let me be clear, Mr. Speaker, don't you dare. The Pakistan People's Party, the Pakistan People's Party will not allow this government to usurp the rights of the provinces. The Pakistan People's Party will not allow this government to undermine the Federation and will not allow this government to undermine the basic principles of the 1973 Constitution, come what may. We were told, we were told, Mr. Speaker, that there would be no begging bowl. We were told there would be no loans. We were told there would be no IMF. And look at what we got, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister goes to Saudi Arabia on his first trip, begging bowl in hand. Is it not true, Mr. Speaker, that the government is currently negotiating with the IMF? Why the secrecy? Why the lack of transparency? Why the lies? Will, will the finance minister deny that Naya Pakistan is going to Purana IMF? Because I can confirm, Mr. Speaker, that we will be going to the IMF. They will be going to the IMF. Mr. Speaker, this confusion does not end with the IMF. The immature, irresponsible statements that relate to CPAC are absolutely outrageous and the people of Pakistan deserve clarity from the government, Mr. Speaker. Finally, Janabi Speaker, amongst all this confusion that the government has created, does it realize that any corrective, reformative step will be in vain if we do not address the elephant in the room? And that is the issue of the FATF. Will the finance minister bother taking parliament into confidence as to what progress has been made so far? The FATF team will be arriving this month. What steps have the government taken? What steps are we taking to ensure that we do not get added to the blacklist? Does the government even realize the consequences of not complying with the 27 point action plan given by FATF? All flow of money will be restricted and affected. Trading with Pakistan will become even more difficult. Our exports will be affected. Cost of doing business will be drastically affected. The problem, Mr. Speaker, the problem is that this government sees no need to brief Parliament. The lack of transparency screams of lack of accountability. Fraternizing, 
fraternizing with banned organizations, forming electoral alliances, directly affects the image and standing of Pakistan, as does cabinet members secretly, secretly meeting with such people in prisons. This is utterly condemnable, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure my colleagues on the Treasury benches will agree with me that a free press is a fundamental component of a healthy democracy. In fact, Mr. Speaker, the space PTI was given in the media has a lot to do with why they are in government today. I'd like to bring to the attention of the government that the Pakistan Federal Union of Journalists are protesting against the lack of free press and media censorship in Naya, Pakistan. We must, we must learn to accept differences of opinion and constructive criticism. When we leave no room for dissent, we leave no room for progress. Will the government, Mr. Speaker, guarantee freedom of expression in Pakistan, freedom of the press in Pakistan, our fundamental rights under a democratic state? Governance is not a one-trick pony, Mr. Speaker. It is a series of thought-out decisions that once made must be implemented. May ye hukumat ko batana chata hoon ki dharna dene mein aur hukumat chalane mein bohut farak hota hai. Ye parlaman hai container nahi. Aap ne aap, aap ne aap serious siyaset karni hai. Aap ne aap serious policy making karni hai. Aap ne aap muskil decisions lene hai aur phir on faislo par kaim rene hai. Aap ne U-turn nahi lena. I've I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We want to work with the government in greater public interest. We want to see 10 million jobs, 5 million homes. We want to conserve water and boost our agriculture. We want to revitalize our industry and stabilize our economy. We want to provide health care for all and education to every Pakistani. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, Despite all its tall claims, there is not one line in the finance bill that lives up to the promises made to the people of Pakistan. It is time, it is time that the government learn that this is not a game. Their decisions affect the lives of 200 million Pakistanis. Magar Janabe Speaker, koon is hukumat ko samjayega ki mulk ऐसे नहीं चल सकता मैशत चंदा से नहीं सियासत गाली से नहीं और मुल्क जादू से नहीं चल सकता आप सबका बहुत शुक्रिया ऐसे इकबाल साहब